Hi all, welcome to Night Rips and another opening of a 2022 Diamond Kings Blaster. Now granted, I don't typically open much unlicensed product, but for whatever reason, this one's actually been fun. I have opened up one blaster already. And if you're interested, go ahead and invite you to go ahead and join the channel by hitting that subscribe button below. Also hit the notify bell so you get notified when I put stuff up. And always go ahead and like the video. Definitely helps me out. But just to let you know, we're not expecting much here. Uh, you know, obviously you're going to get the three blue parallels. And I'm noticing the red frames are pretty common. We did pull a Johnny Bench red frame. I would show you this side, but obviously Panini doesn't like to put odds on their packs. So we're going to just jump right into the packs. Now there's only six packs of six cards, total of 36 cards, and this is not a cheap, I think I paid $30 for this uh, box. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Go ahead and zoom in and take a look at Mickey Mantle on the front and let's get ripping. Again, I like these because I think the design is really, really cool. Definitely a kind of a abstract art looking player Cars, Erskine, Yule Settles, Carl Hubble. This would be one of those artist proof, the blue artist proof I mentioned before. And you get three of those per box. And we pulled a, that would be an Albert Pujols back with he was with the Dodgers, an Elegance card. Now this is a parallel, or not sorry, it's an insert. And it's unnumbered. I don't know if there's parallels to that or not. That's the problem is when you look at the side of the box, from these there's a thousand different variations in it with each row so you never know second pack and obviously these are being only six packs on six cards these are quick rips just to look see if we got anything thick in there and i didn't see anything there's brandon lau there with the rays jose ramirez and we have one of those red frames i mentioned and it's another red frame of someone who wears red. This time would be Luke Williams. And I want to say he's, of course, yeah, he's Philadelphia Philly. And this would be, this is a rookie card. It's actually a rookie series one or level one, which all they do is they slap a frame on top of the base card. And we've pulled this card before, but still pretty cool. And definitely want to put over here to the side, just like I do all of my ones that kind of stand out a little bit. There's Tyler McGill rookie card. Of course, McGill having part of that no-no beginning of the season. Of course, he's a level one also. Oh, here's a nice aficionado card, Jimmy Fox. And that's the thing I do like about this set is there's so many cool looking variation or sorry, inserts. And that's definitely a cool one. And we'll end it. This would be a rookie. I want to say, uh, I think he's a level three. Am I right? No, he's a level two. Level three is more passed out. It's right. It's the fluorescent looking one's a level two. And I haven't pulled a level four yet, but we'll see. Maybe in this pack, pack number three. All right. Oh, we got Mad Bum on the back. But on the front, we have Hank Greenberg. So you find a lot of older players like Nolan Ryan in this. And I do like that. There's Clue. Second artist proof, and this is a good one, would be Aaron Judge, who is honestly... I'll mark it here. He's probably going to be the American League MVP. We'll see here in a few months or... Actually, a lot longer than a few months. We'll see if that prediction comes true. For Modern Strokes, and this one's really cool looking. I haven't seen any of these. Juan Soto. Yeah, the art card of these are, are really, really cool looking. And it's an unnumbered insert. And we'll end it with Mad Bum, as I mentioned before. Halfway done, let's go ahead and get to pack number four. All right, we've got a rookie on the back. Let's take a look at what's on the front. Eddie Collins. Uh, 
There's Cedric Mullins. Frank the Tank. No, it's, that's actually it'd be Frank the Big Hurt. Thomas. And we have another of those rookie. This will be that rookie level one. TJ Friedel. Let's see if I'm right. And I am. For Gallery of Stars, we pull out Carlos Correa. I mentioned him with Houston. Obviously, he is not with Houston. He is with the Twins. And that's unnumbered. Yet another insert. Different, Almost like a different insert per pack. And then this would be that level uh, two, Luis Frias, which we saw when we opened up the pack. Two packs to go. I see which one feels a little thicker and actually they feel about the same and I mentioned a little thicker just in case because I have seen some crazy stuff that gets pulled out of this you know obviously I pulled a dual patch auto on my first opening I've seen other people pull them so you never know there's Trevor Story who's now with the Boston Red Sox Marcus Simeon Kyle Hendricks we have our level two. This will be the artist proof, though, of Kevin Smith. For yet another of the inserts, this one would be the Maestro's insert. We have Chicago White Sox, Jose Abreu. Unnumbered, as always. And then we'll end it with Jake Myers. This would be level three. I mentioned it's kind of a pastel-looking color. That's it. Very cool. And we've got our last pack. Let's see if last pack might actually turn out anything. Again, you're not guaranteed anything except the three artist proofs. And obviously, I've noticed that the frame card is pretty common. There's Joel Sewell. Brandon Crawford. Rafi Devers. We have our level one, Reed Detmers. All right. The Art of Hitting, Ernie Banks, who's definitely a, a nice slugger there. That's cool. Another another insert. And then we have our level two. This one will be Ryan Velade, which is kind of funny since I've actually already pulled his short print. But that's it. No big, no big hits in this one. You know, we did pull our three artist proofs. Kevin Smith, of course, that's a rookie level two. Aaron Judge, definitely not a rookie and definitely way beyond. He's like a level 11. And then Carl Hubble there with, the, I want to say the Yankees, is it? Or is it? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> That's the pro the funny thing is I don't know if he's a, it would, he actually might be back with the Mets since the color is orange, whereas Judge's color is blue. Pure guess, but I don't know. And if anybody can tell me, Drop it in the comment section below. We also pulled a rookie framed card. And I've pulled Luke Williams before as just a base card. But here it is, a framed card. Which, honestly, all Panini does is cut out, you know, a frame on top. And they glue it to the card that they already made. So nothing, nothing tremendous. But it is definitely something a little bit different. We did pull rookies level one, two, and three. I'm not going to go through those again, but we did pull, you know, a few of these inserts are nice. You know, Albert Pujols elegance card. We have a Jimmy Fox aficionado card. You don't pull Jimmy Fox very often. We got a Modern Strokes, Juan Soto, and I'll be really curious to see how much longer he's with the Nationals. I know he's not happy. And, of course, that always happens when you're not not winning. Speaking of someone who wasn't happy, we have Carlos Correa. He obviously left Houston. They couldn't make a deal good enough, so Minnesota did. Of course, he's on a – every year is an option for him. We pulled a maestro, Jose Abreu, and these are nice-looking cards. And, of course, end it with the art of hitting, Ernie Banks. Great one with the Chicago Cubs. So that's it. Again, we didn't find anything too crazy, and it's funny because I have seen a lot of autos come out of this. You know, obviously I've pulled a dual patch auto myself out of this product. But this one was a pretty 
you know, standard rip. So if you're buying these boxes and thinking you're gonna get something crazy, not always. With that, let me go ahead and take time to invite you to once again join the channel by hitting that subscribe button below and hitting the the uh, notify bell so you get notified when I put new stuff up. I appreciate you taking the time watching it. If you have any comments, drop it in the comment section below. But until next time, bye now.